Sky Dream Productions. Hello everybody, my name is Jay from Sky Dream Productions. Today I'll be giving a tutorial on how to use the Pro Editor in the DJI Fly app. Before we go any further, please just make sure you hit that uh, like button um, and um, the bell notification as well. And hit that subscribe button for future videos and reviews. So here I am um, inside the DJI uh, Fly app. Um, you would have to basically import all your videos and pictures um, already. So um, I've done so. I'm going to go to my album. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, um, so this is basically all the videos that I have um, that I've imported already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom right where it says create. I'm going to hit that. So there's templates and there's pro. We're going to use pro. Um, I don't use templates because I feel it's really cheesy and you really can't put your hands on it um, as much as you would like to. Um, so we're going to use the pro. So again, here's just basically everything that I've already imported. Um, so here's a little, you know, a few shots that I did of my uh, car. So let me go ahead and select. I'm just going to tap on every video that you would like. Picture I would like to add in here. I believe it's this one. All right, so I selected everything. I selected um, seven selections. I'm going to go to the top right hand corner. It's going to go hit add. All right, so here's basically all the clips that we have selected. Okay, I'm just going to go give you a rundown on basically all the features within this app itself. So here you have um, tone. Within here, you could go ahead and um, use contrast, uh, saturation, temperature, vintage, sharpness, and the first one was the brightness. So you could, you know, go ahead and edit any of these within the app. Um, then you have your so since we're in a video, you have your cut, so you could basically cut the video in half. Then you have your volume. So you can go ahead and uh, select the, the volume. Um, let me actually go back uh, because, actually no. I already made an edit video and this is the one. This is the full edit. Let me delete that one. Sorry about that. Okay. So, um, you have your volume again. Then you have your speed. You could change the speed of the video. Um, you know, faster or slower. Then you have your reverse. So, you could reverse the whole of the video. Um, and you have your copy. Copies basically just make another copy of the video that you've done. So you can make a double. Then um, you have your your music. You can add the music, and we're gonna do that a little laid a little later on within the tutorial. Then you have these three little circles. This is your um, filters, and again we'll get to that as well. Um, and then you have your text if you want to write text with it. Stickers, I really, really want to see why you want to add stickers, but uh, and then this top button here above the music symbol that's just a toggle um, within the app going forward and back. Okay, um, and then if you see and I click that, you could zoom as well, you could zoom inside um, the image or the video. So um, let's kind of get started on this. So here we are. It's best when you do select your videos, kind of select in an order you would think you would want it, so it's a little easier. So let's start with this. I'm going to hold it and just drag it up front. So here's my video. 
Um, I'm moving forward, so I want to start the shot rolling. So let's say I want to start the shot uh, right about there when I see some movement. So I'm going to tap it again. So have you seen when I tapped it to the right and to the left of the, vid uh, the, the video that's selected, there's bars. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag that forward. And again, this is just where I want to start. Start it so that looks good. All right, and just hit play. You can see where you're at. All right. Then if you see, I kind of slam on the brakes a little bit. I don't want that movement. So let's select that again. I'm gonna select the back of that bar to the right and just drag it back. And basically right before you see the little brake check. Alright, so let's just see how that goes. Tap out of it. Hit play. Right, see, I don't want that jumpy movement, so let's kind of bring that right there. See how that looks now. There we go. This photo is going to end up being in the back of it. So we got that. Uh, let's see what we have here else. Let me um, grab this video, put it up here. So I got this um, shot going forward. I have this shot that's I'm going past the camera. So you see all this empty space I have here. I'm just going to go ahead and tap it again. Grab the left side of the bar. Drag it forward. And I want to kind of start where you start seeing some shadow, but like the bumper. Kind of like right here. You don't want to wait for it to come in picture. So I'm going to just right kind of right where you see that headlight. Let's kind of see how that looks. There we go. And then right at the end... I'm going to hit this again the left side of the right side of the bar drag that back and I want to kind of stop it right where you see it come out of photo right about there so let's see how that looks there you go then here's another video I did again go tap it Grab the left side of the bar, just go ahead and start it right when it's kind of rolling. All right, so I have a lot of empty space. So here's a video that I'm passing through the camera. So here's where you want to use your cut. All right, so again, I have this and I have a lot of empty space, and then I have it where I'm coming back. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the video. I'm going to hit this cut button to the top right. Just cut that in half will be easier. I'm going to tap this. Basically go ahead and um, drag this back. Let's see how this looks here. Oh, well, we need to finish that. Go ahead and select that. Sorry guys, one moment. There we go. I'll pull this bar back a little more. So this is right when the car comes underneath the frame. And again, you want to stop it right when it leaves the frame. Now let's select um, the second part of that video. Grab my left bar, drag it forward. So right where my car is coming into the frame. And again, you want to make a continuation. So I want to kind of right there where you see the bumper okay then I'm gonna select that and grab the left bar and drag it back and kind of just stop it right kind of there then I have this other image um, when I'm coming down this ramp again tap it grab the left bar drag it forward again just right when I see some movement 
I don't want to start it right there, kind of when it's halfway, so it looks like I'm already in motion, about there. Then again, I'm going to grab the right side of the bar, drag it back, and again, right when I'm coming out of frame. Then I have these pictures that I took. All right, so let's just kind of um, hit the play button and kind of see what we got here. So I'm going to end up speeding up each individual clip. I've been doing this just to kind of see how everything um, is put together. So you see how the transition, it came in and I came out. Then I'm... So everything's a continuation. Everything's a movement. That's what you want. You don't want really a pause. So let's just kind of um, speed up each and um, every clip. Again, just tap the video. I'm going to hit uh, to the right side. I'll hit speed. I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Speed that up, um, I would say 150. You don't want something that's really too fast, something that's, there we go, nice, the movement. Just gonna speed everything up one and a half. These ones I feel are gonna be a little fast, but I'll match everything. So again, we're just adjusting the speed on everything. We're gonna do everything uh, one and a half. So you wanna use the same speed kind of on everything so it matches up within the video through the whole thing. Um, sometimes you might, there might be some, some scenarios where it might be a long video, long clip, and you do wanna speed it up. Right there's uh, completely fine. So now let's just see how the speed looks. There you go. So everything's a nice, consistent movement. All right. So that's our video right there. Now, let's go to add some sound. I'm going to give you a warning before I get into this. Um, the music, it's going to be quite loud. So um, bear with me. I do apologize. So I'm going to try to make it as fast as possible so you guys don't blow your ears out. So I'm going to um, hit the music button. I'm going to hit um, add music. So within the app, there's already um, sounds within the app that they have that actually are fairly, really good, I want to say. Um, so everything basically, you know, fits everything. Um, let's just kind of see what this one is real quick. Okay. So, we're going to use this um, Bionic Games. So, within here, again, they have different um, categories of the music. So, you got pop, you got funky, cheerful, um, uplifting, smoothing, epic, childhood. So, they actually have pretty good stuff to match your uh, subject. So, um, but you can always import your own music. If you go to local, you can hit in, import here and you could just select the music um, that you might have downloaded already um, for something specific that you would like. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to powerful. We're going to hit to the left. We're going to hit use. So let's just kind of see how everything plays out. Uh, let me actually tap this so to the left um, sorry to the right you have options now for the music what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to volume I'm gonna do fade in and fade out then you hit OK so again the music's gonna probably be a little loud so I do apologize but um, I'm not gonna try to play it so much um, so here we go Let's see what we got So, as you see, that took us probably not even 10 minutes to do. So, again, this, um, you know, app is really good just to make something quick on the go. Um, you 
I, I could see potential in it for, I would say, kind of mid-professional stuff, you know. Um, there's other apps out there that you could get your hands a lot more into it, um, you know. So those you would kind of like to use for more professional stuff. Now, um, to that right where the three circles are, again, um, these are filters. So you could add filters. What I like about this, it filters your whole video at once, okay. What I suggest that you would do is edit each in individual clip to kind of match each other. Then you want to put your filter. You don't want to put a filter on your whole video and different parts of the video are brighter and darker. So it's best that you use the editing tools to, um, you know, fix at each and every video first to make sure that it all looks the same. Then then you do your um, then you do your filter so everything matches um, so once you're done picking your filter and editing each and every clip you're just gonna go to the top right where it has a little uh, square with the arrow and then you could go ahead and select the import video so with this editor it's only 1080p which this um, is pretty good for all platforms for Facebook um, your Instagram, uh, YouTube. So this is basically, you know, a good, good quality. I would say, you know, just for uh, on the go um, uh, format. I do apologize. <laughs> so um, you hit uh, continue, and then we'll go ahead and upload. So again, that's just a quick tutorial on how to use the Pro Editor within the DJI Fly app. Again. This is Sky Dream Productions. If you like this video, if it was very helpful to you, please hit that like button and then subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, go ahead and drop that um, within the comments and uh, try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Again, this is Jay from Sky Dream Productions. See you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.